Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, it is extremely difficult to find Japanese chefs who have the guts to step into my Kitchen Stadium. Some shy away, concerned about the notoriety of the restaurants or how they might be viewed by the bigger names in the restaurant business. But recently, I was delighted to meet a gutsy young Japanese chef. I got even more excited when I found out he did his apprenticeship at the prestigious Tankuma in Kyoto before opening his own place in Tokyo. Restaurant Tankuma is undoubtedly one of the very best in Japanese cuisine, serving customers in a traditional over-the-counter style. They take pride in their flavors and are often highly praised as the rival of the famous restaurant Kicho, also located in Kyoto. Today's challenger is an heir to Tankuma's tradition and spirit. Let me introduce him, head chef of Omino in Tokyo. Haruyoshi Omino. Dreaming of becoming a respected Japanese chef, he was accepted by Tankuma at age 19 as one of the 20 apprentices that year. He proved himself by becoming one of the only two who made it through the first year. And at age 24, he was appointed head chef of one of Tankuma's branches. At 26, he decided to return to Tokyo and open his own place, Omino, on the outskirts of Tokyo. I'd say 80 to 90 percent of what I now serve are reflections of the skills that I acquired at Tankuma. The reason he chose the outskirts of Tokyo was because he wanted to serve people who would pay for their dishes out of their pockets, not out of corporate entertainment expenses. Yet, Omino's cuisine qualifies top-level formal Japanese dishes, accentuating the natural flavors of the ingredients following the philosophy and tradition of Kyoto-style cuisine. It has been quite a while since we last welcomed an eager and gutsy young Japanese chef, hopefully, to step in and create a storm. So now, Omino, show us exquisite dishes created by skills acquired at the high temple of Japanese cuisine. I'll serve dishes that are faithful to the tradition of Japan, together with some avant-garde recipes, and I'll prove myself there. I'll win for sure.
Today, a chef who developed his skills at Tankama in Kyoto while our guest was born and bred to eat at fine establishments. Actress Mayuko Takata, looking so elegant in your kimono. It's my pleasure to be here. Takata-san, uh, yes. you're a frequent diner at Tankama in Kicho in Kyoto, right? Uh, I've been to Kicho, but not to Tankuma. Mm. Oh, you haven't? No. Well, it's one of the top two in the Kansai. Yes. Well, we're glad to have you here today. Thank you. And our commentator, Dr. Yuki Ohatori Doc. Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. Nihon Ryori Kai no Nidai Kyoto Kicho to Tankuma. Hanayakana Kicho ni Taishi. Akuma demo Waza ni Kodawaru Tankuma. その日本を代表する高級料亭の技とやらを見せてもらおうではありませんか。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。西尾木久保、お見の料理長、お見の春吉。All right, an eager and young Japanese chef here to prove himself now entering the stadium. His look, one of determination. He'll show us the best of Kyoto-style cuisine. Thank you. Nice to meet you, sir. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. Making their ascent into Kitchen Stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi, and Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai. Even without Iron Chef Japanese, Michiba, here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. Sakai-san, if I may. All right, Sakai it is. Omino gunning for the Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai, a pioneer in French cooking, among the first chefs to fuse Japanese techniques with French recipes. And for his artistic use of color, he's been dubbed the Delacroix French cuisine. Today, against a young chef trained at one of the top Japanese restaurants in Kyoto. パンクマ出身の料理人の実力を占うのにふさわしい素材は何か。占うといえばちょうどあの魚が旬です。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。A young chef with talent and an impressive resume taking on Iron Chef Sakai, Challenger Omino with the cojones to compete. Sweetfish the theme, we are set. Let's get it on. Bang a gong, we are on. What am I gonna do? Whoa. And right off the bat, the Iron Chef, they're voicing some displeasure, you gotta believe, with the theme, Doc. Right. Uh, never have seen or heard any Iron Chef before grumbling about the theme on the way up to the stand. Well, I can't say that I blame them. This is a tough ingredient to fit into a French uh, recipe. Okay. Mm. It's more like an Italian type of thing, if, if you ask me. Can I start crying? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a sardine you could treat it? I, I'm not sure. I feel sorry for the guy. Oh, well, the Iron Chef French really behind the eight ball in this one, and Sakai on his way back Fukuzan. down. Yes, so to go. You probably already heard what Iron Chef Sakai thinks about today's ingredient. He says, I've never used this fish at my restaurant. It's like the whole thing is stacked in favor of the challenger. What am I supposed to do? All right, <laughs> thanks. And all his body language there, too, telling you that... Uh, that he feels that way, but gotta say the fish look good. Yeah, they're they're very fresh and they've just been uh, blood drained, so they're in great condition. And actually, with the uh, the fresh ones, they smell like a watermelon. Didn't know that. Yeah, really? in older days they called this fish aroma fish. Uh, they live on LJ at the river bottom of very uh -huh. pure water, so mm -hmm. that's why it has such a nice smell. I was down there before the shooting, and they they smelled actually quite nice. Doc sniffing around early. <laughs> All right, now check out Omino. Some headband action there. Exactly. 
Hey, getting that on and getting fired up. Fukui san? Yes. Yeah, the challenger says that when he was at Tonkuma, uh, he used fresh wild ayu from the Hozu River, but during the six years that he's been back in Tokyo, he hasn't touched it because he says it's hard to find ayu that are not from fish farms. All right. Well, he should appreciate oh, okay. these. Uh, the sweet fish for today were caught by natural means, of course, from the Shimanto River in western Japan. And now the Iron Chef, and what does he have right here? What is that? Is that a spoon? Well, it looks like a spoon. Well, you're right, it does look like a spoon, but it's actually a, a fish scaler. Oh, okay. Maybe a utensil from France. It, it could be. It doesn't look like a Japanese-style one. Mm. Okay, well, even on the slow-mo, it's got a moving too fast there. <laughs> okay, there's a look at it. Yeah, you can see the jagged edge there, right? Okay. And now the breakdown, Sakai's record against Japanese chefs, Japanese cuisine, four battles, he is three and one. Wow. Okay. And uh, taking it even further in the breakdown, Sakai in fish battles, he's a perfect four and oh, winning with pike eel, benito, cod, and sole. So not one loss in there, wow. Nope. But today with sweet fish, uh, Omino, a Japanese chef with the decided advantage, battling a French chef. Definitely, mm. yeah. Iron chef French Sakai facing an uphill swim or upstream swim in this one. <laughs> and the challenge of skewering those could be for grilled sweet fish. I imagine, yeah. A little bit of rock salt on this, and it'll be very similar to what we, we normally see. All right. And the challenger also has some uruka here, okay. which is the salt-cured innards of the and fish. up close on the innards, cured already. Right. It's considered uh, one of the top gourmet items in Japan. It's almost like uh, what foie gras is for the okay. French. Okay. san Yes. Yeah, when I asked challenger Omino how many dishes he'd be shooting for, he replied, I want to go for eight. I want to set a new record. <laughs> eight? But more than that, Sakai-san uses Japanese techniques in his French food, but I want you to know that mine is genuine Japanese fighting words from this side. Aggressive. Ooh. And game planning for eight. Indeed. Yeah, he's, Seven's uh, he's the record uh, achieved by Iron Chef Michiba and by challenger Toshiro Kandagawa. Of course, the number of dishes is not any guarantee of victory, right. but you've got to applaud his desire to try and make and finish eight and just there, we're seeing some of the bone cutting we saw in the pike eel battle. Right, it looks very similar, doesn't it? Uh, and this fish is very, very fresh, so it actually can be served raw. And I think he's thinking about maybe a marinated salad or something, and slicing it like that uh, thin would be helping the vinegar penetrate. Okay, now checking in on the Iron Chef side. Oh, he's got the heads there. Over open flames. Oh, fish heads. <laughs> yeah, for a broth, I imagine. A soup? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, he does that a lot, if you know. Uh, fish heads and cutoffs to create broth uh, right. or stock, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. probably along those lines, yeah. And so, what kind of stock would this be? That I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> Come I on. Broth. I guess so. I don't know. But I've never heard of using fish like this. No, me either. So, all it's right. uh, like a simple grill, I now, guess, not coated with salt at all there. Right? Yeah, this is on the challenger side. Looks like they'll be getting some broiling treatment. Nothing else on them yet. Right. So, yeah. add the flavor later on. I imagine. Just yeah. some straight ahead broiling action for the skewered fish. Fukuzan? Yes. I asked the challenger just how good he was at cooking fish at the Tonkuma restaurant, and he said, Are you kidding? I was born into a fishmonger's family. I grew up with fish. This is definitely my turf. <laughs> All right, a piece of news there, which uh, stacks the deck even higher against the Iron <laughs> Chef. And what, what's he doing now? This is for, for frying, perhaps, yeah? That's what it looks like. Fukui san? Yes. I'm guessing. Yeah, these are coated with cornstarch. All right, okay. and with the cornstarch coating, yes, for frying. And these are the pieces he was slicing into earlier, correct? Uh, right, and they'll kind of open up like flower petals, right? Oh, okay. All right. So, but it wasn't marinated dish. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's now okay. Sakai pan packed with fish, and here he's got the. Uh, yeah, curing it with uh, kombu. Kombu kelp, kelp yeah. a Japanese Fukuzan. technique. Yes. Yeah, this just in. Iron Chef French Sakai has Japanese earthen pots on his side. All right, oh, Iron yeah. Chef. Earthen pot. Wow. You know, I really think you're going to have to lean towards Japanese techniques if you're going to handle this fish properly. Pure French is really hard to adapt here. Very true, very true. Yes, but if difficult. anybody could manage that, Sakai would be the guy. Mm, and uh, here on Omino's side, Shiso leaves are in play on this one, laying them on the sweet fish. Cheese? Oh. Yeah, cheese sticks. Is so he going to roll it up, I guess? Rolling yeah, maybe, cheese yeah, in a sweet be. fish fillet. <laughs> then what, grill it, fry it? Uh, uh, I don't think frying would be right Okay, for that. grill, grill. Uh, that's what my guess would mm. be. Yeah. Both chefs with some unusual twists, so Omino with cheese, and now Sakai with kiwi fruit. <laughs> Kiwis. Breaking out the kiwi. Both chefs with some unusual twists. Omino with cheese, and now Sakai with kiwi fruit. <laughs> kiwi. Breaking out the kiwi. Right. Whoa, so the iron chef with kiwi, and also some corn over there on that side, I believe. 
They are, yes, yep. and uh, corn to be incorporated into one of his sweet fish dishes. Kusan! Yes. Yeah, when asked about his strategy today, Iron Chef Sakai said, don't forget I was also a Japanese-style chef at once upon a time, so I'll be using a lot of Japanese techniques in my dishes. All right, thanks. Mm. And yes, right. Sakai right. does have some background in Japanese cooking. He's not a complete novice at it. That's true. He actually trained at a very high-class restaurant. And he'll be utilizing a lot of his Japanese cuisine chops for his dishes today. So you were right, the broth? Oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the grilled head's all being tied up here. I told you. What a great job, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> now, grilling and charboiling them first is to get rid of the, the raw smell. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, he's putting it in here now, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, see this? What well, else does it have? Uh, the broth uh, well, already in there from the color. Uh, any... Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Kind oh, of... okay, uh, consomme, I think. Uh, okay, consomme. Okay. Yeah. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, I'm told that the Iron Chef has bouillon in this uh, pot here. All right. Okay, well, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and to the bouillon, <laughs> Sakai adding a bundle of grilled sweet fish heads. Right. And now over to the challenger side, the ones he broiled, he's removed the skewers from them and placed them here in this pressure cooker and adding a sauce to them. Oh, now that's surprising. A sweet and sour stew? I don't know. Well, presumably a soy-based sauce there. Yeah, I'm not sure about Fukuzan? sugar in here. Yes. Mm. Yeah, the soup that you're talking about on the challenger side is made from soy sauce, sweet cooking sake, regular sake, and kombu kelp. All right. And as for the sweet fish that he grilled, the challenger says that he's happy how they turned out. All right, great. Okay, so if he braises this, it will be stewed sweet fish with a sweet and sour yes, glaze. Yes, traditional eh? one. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, he stays like on that name. course, a conventional dish. Yeah, well, the question is, does he stay orthodox? His so. choice. <laughs> <laughs> now, hang on. Something's being added here. Okay, let's see. What is this? Did he sprinkle something in there? Uh, Japanese pepper? Okay, Sancho. All right, there. Okay. Peppercorns. Well, that tells us something. Tells you. <laughs> well, it's a dish called arima stew. Okay, arima style. Uh -huh. Right. That's a place known for Japanese peppercorns, actually. Right. And they use it for stewing or braising the fish. Arima, the famous hot springs area. We're talking about the same place? Same place. All right. Now, if we can switch sides here, I think he's going to add these to the stew, like fish balls. Ah, the, oh, the Iron Chef. Right, 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 yeah. Okay, over the processor right there. Exactly. Sweet fish. Mm -hmm. Fish balls. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? <laughs> Sims beneath such a good fish. Yeah, it's almost a waste. Make them, then uh, stew them in the earthenware. That's what I'm thinking, provided that he does actually make All fish right. balls out of them. We'll find out what he does with the paste, and, and let's I, see, more added to it right yeah, there. Yeah, that was the salt-cured innards in there, I wow. think, too, which I think means is uh, definitely going to be a meatball type of a thing. Takara-san, what do you think? Uh, I agree with you totally. Fukusan? Yes. <laughs> Challenger Omino says he's enjoying what he's doing today. One luxury he says is nice is that he has an extra assistant. He also says he doesn't think eight dishes will be a problem. And he added maybe even he'll try for double digits. Ten dishes. <laughs> no way. Man alive. Whoa. All right. And Sakai <laughs> here. Nothing's been done with these as of yet. Note totally uncooked still. Rah -rah. Okay. Thought so. Maybe waiting to be flavored in some manner and then cook them up. How about miso? That's what that is? is miso? That's what I think. White miso with some uh, sweet cooking sake. Uh, yeah, he's really sake. in Japanese territory okay. now, huh? in the thick of it. A miso grill, maybe? Uh, denkaku style? Perhaps. What do you think? Okay. Is it possible? Iron mm. Chef French Sakai going back to his roots when he was uh, trained in Japanese cuisine and even adding soy oh, sauce okay. there. But he'll probably mm. add a touch of French, but uh, so far all Japanese in approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he must. Okay, adding some regular Western style pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's Western style. That does it? No, pepper's just too common. Not enough to make it okay, French okay. right there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Okay, an Iron Chef on that one. And, on. Yes. I asked Challenger Omino what he thought about Iron Chef Sakai resorting to a lot of Japanese cuisine cooking techniques today, and he didn't say anything. He just grinned and went back to what he was doing. <laughs> well, why say anything when things appear to be lined up your way? Challenger Omino still going at a good clip. Confidence level very high, and now the Iron Chef, he's going to torch here. <laughs> Watch out, Some fire time. flame throwing Ooh, action. He's going to char the surface of the fish. Okay, doing mm -hmm. that job on him right there. Exactly, yeah. And we'll see how he works that miso mix into these here, these ayu that he is charring the surface of. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to eat them just like this. So. Uh, no, I'd have to pass. No torched ayu for me. <laughs> uh, hard Only to tell, guys. Thank you. Hard to tell if these have been uh, guttered or not. <laughs> now he is... Uh, Taking Kusan. them over to the broiler, yes. Let me give the ingredients in the bowl that we see on the Iron Chef side. It's a blend of vinegar, sake, egg whites, white miso, soy sauce, pepper, sugar, and yuzu citrus fruit powder. Well, got to mm. say, flavor-wise, all Japanese there. Definitely. And look, now he's cutting up a winter melon, and these are often used in Chinese cooking right. as well as Japanese. And 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. This one is breezing right by. Definitely. Now, he's doing something new over here. All right, Challenger Omino, stripping away the meat from the skin of the fillets. I'm thinking for a salad or something. Going to use it raw? I, I'm guessing, yeah. Or how about having a sushi dish? A possibility oh, there? Oh, okay. That, mm -hmm. that is possible, yeah. Okay, we've mm -hmm. got to find out if Omino's got rice cooking over there. Not sure about that yet. 
But uh, right now, watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> so, oh, watermelon balls. All right, and let's see if we can get a look at the Challenger's rice cooker in the meantime. Okay, okay. There is. yeah, it's. I think that's supposed to be on. That N or H there. I guess so that means, cooking. oh, it's on. <laughs> so he'll have rice at his disposal. And uh, the Iron Chef has got uh, winter melon into the stew pot here. Okay, into the IU and bouillon broth right there. Croissant? Yes. I asked Iron Chef Sakai how many dishes he's shooting for, and he replied four. He also added, make no mistake, I will be including French dishes. Good. Wouldn't want to see the Iron Chef French without any French dishes today. No. I'm still looking forward to this. And uh, adding some maitake mushrooms Okay, here. maitake mushrooms going to be added to the stew, and seeing that one come into view, and... Here, the Challenger got some breading action Ooh, going on. Yeah, now, what's this here? This is the one with the cheese. Cheese okay. and shiso leaves wrapped in ayu. Okay, oh, yeah. I said he wouldn't fry it, but it looks like he's going to be frying it. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, let me give you the ingredients in the Challenger's coating. Breadcrumbs, cashew nuts, pine nuts, and, of course, beaten eggs. How about that? Wow. So, cashew nuts and pine nuts. Two kinds. That should smell good, huh? Yeah, very Man, much. So. Finely chopped. Now, hang on here. He's rubbing on the miso paste. Iron Chef Sakai doing it here. The ones he torched before. Right, the lightly torched ones. The sure. surface. So yeah. he just did that to dry the surface then? You've got that right, exactly. Oh, yeah. Dried it Ooh. up pretty good. Get it rid of the slimy surface. And keep the paste from slipping off? Right. Oh. Okay, and anything else after this? Uh, rock salt. And mm, what's no, it? Oh, onions. Onions, onions. Okay, okay, finely chopped onions. Looks right. like it. Spread out on the surface. Well, that makes it a bit French, doesn't it? Leans towards <laughs> Western, <laughs> right? He's heading back to his own turf now. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Corn husks? Corn husks. Oh, okay, so he's going to wrap the fish in these then. Okay. What? I mean, like the, like the fish he coated, he'll put them in these. Oh, uh, man. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Incredible. So then if he wraps them, he'll kind of steam them? That, or Yeah, that's what I, I would think. Uh, but that alone, it's a kind of boring, isn't it? I mean, mm. if I were him, I'd try to encase it in a, in a pie crust or something. Somebody did something like that before, remember? Uh, um, okay, in a pie crust? How about crust? a salt oh. crust? Yeah, right. it, exactly, exactly. Okay, then a salt crust grill. Okay. Right. right. So this could be an indication he's he's planning on doing something like that. Focus on! Yes. Yeah, the little bits that sakai -san was sprinkling onto the fish uh, were minced scallions. Oh, okay. Oh, not okay. regular onions. So long onions. All, All right. right. Now he's back to leaning east on this one. <laughs> now, if we can get a shot of the challenger here. All All right. He's uh, rolled up eggplants in the filleted fish and coated it with flour. So frying mm -hmm. these, do you imagine? I'd say they'd be fried. And yeah. these are the pieces he sliced into way back in the early going, and he's wrapping eggplant with them. Seems to have a lot of fried items. Too. Yeah. Yes, yes. So that could mean he had to do that because of the freshness of the ayu? Mm -hmm. Could it be something like that? Well, with eight dishes, you're definitely going to end up with some of them being fried with this mm. fish as a theme ingredient today. Sure, sure. Uh, but he did have one sashimi-like ayu, Okay, hey, correct? into the steamer. Uh, okay, he's oh, going to steam them. Steaming them, right? Right here. Okay. Probably pour some kind of sauce or soup over top of it. Maybe a sweet and sour type mm. of a sauce. Could be, yes. The main dish. Oh, salt, yeah. salt, salt. Iron <laughs> Chef, a ton of salt. Jeez, Luis, <laughs> this is salt, isn't it? Rock salt <laughs> for the salt wow. crust grill. Uh, you know, I called it. It takes a pro to uh, understand a pro. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed, Doc. <laughs> salt crust grill on the way, and what about the flavor, Doc? Well, the salt helps absorb the excess water from the fish, so I think it'll taste quite nice, actually. It'll, it'll give it kind of a delicate flavor. Okay, and Sakai packing them in there. Sweet fish, the surface dried by torching, a very Japanese flavor miso paste applied to the surface, chopped scallops and spread around, and then the fish wrapped in corn husks to be packed in salt and then in the oven, and now the lid off here of the Challenger's pressure cooker looking good, mm -hmm. flavors of the stew having penetrated into those fish, and now here finishing up one. Okay, this is called misore, which is a style of Japanese okay, an appetizer. appetizer yeah. from Omino. Right, the fish was fried once before being marinated, right? Okay, so, so it should be firm and tasty. Exactly, won't be greasy at all. And that one is looking fine, too, and the first one in the books. It looks very good, doesn't it? First one of eight that the Challenge is trying to complete and working on this one kind of a salad like effort here. Okay, now is that Japanese ginger? I believe it's radish sprouts. Oh, okay, radish okay, sprouts. Okay, and the yeah. presentation of this one shaping nice, up nicely. Nice touch, yeah. A dressing to be added to it, or ha has it added, been added already? I would say some Japanese ginger. Okay, now back uh -huh. on Sakai's side, fish balls going into the stew. Okay, the, the fish ball. IU okay. fish ball stew should be great with the broth Ooh, in that, that one. It looks really good, gently rolled by hand. And doubling down on the theme with the flavor of the grilled fish heads permeating the broth. 15 minutes oh, left. Oh, look at the salad. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, oh. Omino's <laughs> dish is looking very good. Actually looking French. Yeah, yes. yes. The decoration a bit on the French side. Oh, they're just beautiful. Yeah, these guys have, like, switched sides or something. <laughs> Trading places. <laughs> 48 hours, 60 minutes. Hard to tell them they're cooking who's French and who's Japanese today. 
trading places. <laughs> 48 hours, 60 minutes, hard to tell in their cooking who's French and who's Japanese today. Oh, it's just so pretty. So the Delacroix of Japanese cuisine? <laughs> yeah. No, but he really does use color nicely Taking there. his cue from the presentation specialist on the other side. Now we've got a fried item here. This is one of the cashew nuts mm, and pine nuts yes. in the batter, right? Uh, with cheese inside. Probably melted in there. Oh, we've got to eat it now. Right now. I can't wait. <laughs> Challenger Omino cranking out dish after dish, pursuing both quantity and quality, gunning for a would-be record eight dishes. All right now he will slice them up to, to show the inside, right? Oh, the cheese is going to spill out, isn't it? Mmm, perhaps, yeah. I'm not sure he should do this. But it, it'll look nice, so like the white, green, brown, you got the three colors there. Uh, okay. Three slices, and okay. And setting them up there, it looks outstanding. Okay, now, oh, hang on a second, let's switch over here, the real Delacroix. Okay, is Iron Chef's a guy here <laughs> plating some raw sweet fish, looks to be. Mm -hmm. ah. So he didn't braise it or cook it in any other way. No, too no. bad we missed that one. Yeah, not a, not a whole grill at all. All right, now back to the challenger side. This is the steamed ones, now right? Now being placed in the bowls. Mm -hmm. That can't be it for this one. Some soup or some sauce, I'm sure. That would be the most likely one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then Iron Chef's using mayonnaise. Sakai, all right, he's doing a little painting with that. Mayonnaise form. on this fish? <laughs> That's what he's doing. And just by looking at the dish, you can tell it's a Sakai creation. But but mayonnaise, is, the flavor is kind of strong. I, I don't know. I know what you're saying. It's going to maybe overpower the, yeah, the smell I'm, of the I'm fish. I'm afraid it's going to kill the aroma. Yeah, you, you have a point. We'll have to see. Or you'll get to <laughs> see. Uh, hey, all right, the corn husk wrapped salt crust grill has come out here. Oh, oh yes. Sweet wow. fish wrapped in corn husks, encased in rock salt, and then cooked in the oven. Wonder how that will taste. And now the rye spooning that out on the challenger side. And let's, whoa, just some minutes. big plain, servings there. Plain yeah, rice in a bowl? Big Actually bowl. means there's going to be some more work on this. <laughs> Maybe, what's he going to be doing? Like a porridge or something like that? Sweet with rice? fish rice soup? Maybe. Oh, okay, man. would be an interesting idea if he does that. Can't really tell at this point. We'll just have to wait and see from. Okay. Oh, he's rinsing it. I think you're right. Rice soup. Ooh, oh, rinsing okay. the cooked rice. To oh, remove okay. the stickiness, you know. Right, right. It makes the the rice a lot oh, smoother. Another thing I didn't know. And, <laughs> mm, smells good. Mm, yeah. Now that's coming from the Iron Chef side. Fried that's sweet fried fish, one. Yeah. courtesy of Sakai. You mm. know, Doc, the way he's decorating his dishes really makes them look French. It, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Similar yeah. process, but different finish. Yeah. <laughs> and Sakai, of course, a master in presentation. But his dishes are more Western in style today, mm, it seems. Right? Yes. Yeah. About four and a half minutes left on the clock. Okay, now he's serving those just crusted? Okay, yeah. let's see. Look and, uh, like yeah, look how he's plating the these. Okay. Yeah, using the salt crust as part of the presentation. Nice touch. And on top of bamboo leaves to boot. And I, my, oh, my, another stroke and a burst of color for you right there with that one. I don't care what he said before. I think he's enjoying this with this fish. Yeah, he was so unhappy before. <laughs> His expression when the theme was unveiled. Oh, here we go. Rice soup. Okay. Ah, rice Challenger's porch. earthen yeah. pot mm, being yes. used. Have some sweet fish into this. The grilled fish? You're right, yeah. Okay. And you got to have sweet, for, sweet fish in Who's some on? form, right? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, I asked the challenger again if he still thought he could pull off eight dishes in the time remaining, and he said, who said eight dishes? Did I say that? He tried to make it sound like I made it up. <laughs> Oh. All right, some backpedaling <laughs> as we come in near the finish. Uh, lowering of expectations. So far, I think he's got around five, six, but uh, eight may be out mm, of reach. Yeah. Now, let's uh, look at the Iron Chef here for a sec. He's adding something, and I, I can't tell what it is. Okay. Three is it like go. curry powder or? Let's see, an important I, finishing touch here with three minutes left. Yeah, definitely. Cinnamon color. What? What is it? I, I, I really can't tell from here. I wonder what that is. Oh, that character says flower. Okay, flower, flower. something. Oh, huaja. Okay, which okay. is? Uh, it's a type of pepper from, from China, actually. Very similar to Japanese pepper. All right, we're trying to get there. It ain't easy with all that action going on down there. <laughs> trying to weave through there, yeah? Uh, here we go, okay, here we go. See? Okay. All right, there you are, and yes, it uh, is from China. Yeah, Hua Jouen. It's a Japanese phonetic spelling on that, but it's Japanese or a Chinese spice, I should say, pepper. Okay, okay yeah. see, now I we see. get that clear and back on the challenger side. So he did add the grilled fish to this, right? The, he grilled them first and could it kind of right. get a savory aroma. Broiled there. with the charred surface in the rice. Porridge. Porridge. Yes. Yeah, here in the challenger's earthen pot, he has the grilled sweet fish, and uh, let's see, oh, with the bones. Back to you. All right, we got it. Okay, thought that mm, one. Nice aroma there, too. And he was chopping up uh, mitsuba, so he'll add just a, a load of that All later. All right. Maybe some eggs? Uh, and put the lid on it and steam it for a little bit. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Mouth watering <laughs> and omino getting first crack at it. Challenger's skill is uh, pretty good, right. actually, yeah. And uh, he's got the, you can tell from the flow, right, from his work. He stayed Man calm, he's on doing a everything mission. right. Yeah. 
Did he did he have something like this? Beaten eggs. Uh, the meat spin's already in there. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, a minute to go. The final sixty seconds of this sweet fish battle. Now, now this came out in front of us all of a sudden. <laughs> what do you want to call this come it? From? I have no idea. <laughs> Looks as if it's been cooking for a while. It sure does. Challenger Omino was earlier trying to complete eight dishes. How many will he be able to turn out? Well, that's what I want to know. I can't even keep track of how many he has so far. I haven't seen him do much in the way of any scrambling. No mishaps either from the challenger. And on the other side here, Sakai salt encrusted IU and. Now now he's ditching the salt crust right here at the end, a change in presentation plans. Under 30 seconds left, the Iron Chef French hamstrung by the theme, while Challenger Omino able to take full advantage of his skills, first developed at Tonkama in Kyoto, working with the top-notch sweetfish brought in today. He's had a good day so far, Sakai looking to hit a home run with this one, Ayu cooked in salt crust. Under 10 seconds left now, both men have borrowed from each other's playbook, Challenger Omino by choice, Iron Chef Sakai by necessity. Three, Both have cooked two, up a storm. The final one. seconds ticking down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The sweet fish battle is over. Huh, very nice job. No, thanks. How was battling for an hour? It was very short. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. But you managed to finish a good number of dishes. Yes. Uh, how did they all come out? Well, seven dishes in one hour. Uh-huh. <laughs> so-so, I guess. Just so-so? Yeah. How was this hour for you? I wasn't ready for this at all. Yes, you said yeah. that. Uh huh. But how did things turn out in the end? Well, um, should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Any comments about Challenger Omino? Well, he's a hardcore Japanese chef from Tankuma, uh -huh. and he had a Japanese ingredient. Right. Challenger Omino is offering seven dishes. First, fried sweetfish in sweet and sour sauce, which is topped by salmon roe. The crispy texture of the fried river fish is heightened by the sourness of the grated radish. Second, uruka stew, a traditional recipe with this fish, which is accentuated by the bitterness of the innards. The flavor, slightly on the thick side, should appeal to the tasters from eastern Japan. Steamed sweetfish and eggplant, served with a sauce made from broad beans. The refreshing smell of the broad beans and the aroma of sweetfish blend nicely in a superb effort. Fried and braised sweet fish from another traditional recipe with the bones softened after being cooked in a pressure cooker. Japanese pepper does the trick, adding just enough spiciness to what's normally a mild flavor. Fifth is sweet fish salad, a quite colorful offering served with cured plum dressing. And the combo of Japanese ginger and sweet fish emphasizes the sense of summer. Fried sweet fish rolls, the first time he's ever tried making this. The attempt at combining cheese with this fish is sure to open the eyes of the tasters. Last, number seven, sweet fish and ginger rice. Tasters should find the grilled skin, cooked filet, and broth all harmonized in this masterpiece, which shows the depth of his formal training in Japanese cuisine. Iron Chef Sakai is offering four dishes. First, marinated sweet fish and kiwi dressing. The sweetness of kiwi and that of the sweet and sour sauce create a duo of pleasing flavors for the tasters to enjoy right from the start of Sakai's meal. Second is fried baby sweet fish. Sakai drew inspiration for this one from gazpaccio. The textures of cucumbers and Japanese ginger match nicely with the bitterness of the innards in the fried fish, which are enhanced even further by the sourness of the gazpaccio sauce which accompanies. Third is sweet fish meatball soup. The preparation of the thick and deep flavored soup was well executed, giving all of its wonderful flavors to the winter melon and the fish meatballs. Last is salt grilled sweet fish with lime, utilizing corn husks to encapsulate the flavors inside. And the innards left in the fish work nicely as part of the sauce for this river fish. Tankuma in Kyoto, one of the best restaurants in traditional Japanese cuisine, and a place where only one or two of each year's class of 20 apprentices survive. After seven years with Tankuma, this chef has opened his own place on the outskirts of Tokyo. Today's challenger, Haruyoshi Omino. He's got the guts for a kitchen stadium date with Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme, a perfect one for testing the skills of a Tankama trained chef in season IU, sweet fish. Challenger Omino completes a dazzling assortment of seven dishes. Iron Chef Sakai swimming upstream with this theme fights back with a set of four.
And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Sweet Fish Battle are former Lower House member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Omino. This is nice. It's very light, and it's easy to eat. It's not oily at all. The sourness of the grated radish is what makes this very nice. Well, I completely agree with her. But I'm... Well, I, I don't see why this is so special, you know. To me, this dish kind of falls short of conveying the natural flavors of... Well, I, well of the fish, of the fish itself. As a dish, it's light and nice, but it could be made with any kind of fish, you know. The unique bitterness of this fish works really well in this dish. Mm, this is very good. I even finished up the broth to the last drop. <laughs> it was flavored very nicely. You trained in Kyoto, but this was done Tokyo style, thick and strong. Inside you'll find udo and carrots and processed cheese. Oh, and also shiso. Oh, this is really a tough call. At first I was thinking the cheese would be, well, overpowering, but it is it's really well, well controlled here. I also sense the flavor of the fish, yet on one hand I'm still feeling something missing, and I'm not quite sure whether this lemon juice is really helping it or not. Tough call. This is very good, but again, it didn't have to be Ayu. Could have been sardines, sorry to say. Mm, the smell of the ginger is effective, makes it refreshing. The savory smell of the sweet fish skin is coming to me. I'm enjoying this. The grilled uh, savory skin and uh, you have soft filet, and I, I find this, well, there's rice in this soup. It's a, it's a masterpiece. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. I use sweet fish is hardly used in French cooking, even in Japan. So I didn't venture much. Salt grill is best, and that is in the center. The kiwi sauce, I mean the tartness of that, really helps to draw the sweetness of this river fish. Now I tried it with the tomatoes, and um, there was a nice kind of sourness. It was a refreshing taste, very good. It accentuates the sweetness of this fish. Well, I wouldn't say this is a home run. Well, the fish, you, well, you did this because it's a Japanese fish, and your skills in accentuating the fish are great, but this really isn't that special. I got the inspiration from gazpacho. <laughs> Not an inspiration, this is gazpacho. I mean, the tomatoes, chopped bell peppers, and other ingredients used in Spanish cooking for chilled soup really enhance the flavor of the fish. Hmm. Oh, I think this is just delicious. The bones of the sweet fish and the innards are still there. There's an overall positive flavor to this, you know, and it really matches well with the sauce. This is yet another masterpiece, I, I truly believe. Now Sakai dishing out servings of his fishball soup. I uh, just don't like this, I'm sorry. Well, th there are just so many flavors, and they're okay, but I was thinking to myself, uh, this could be that, well, it, it might be that, it, it could be something else. There's just an overall question of harmony that uh, isn't here. Uh, salt was layered in the pan, and I think this helped prevent it from becoming too dry. It's almost like steaming the meat stayed firm. Now this is sweet fish, really. It's so savory, and the subtle filet of fish you have here, there's so many flavors, and the aroma, really, it's, it's wonderful. This is comparable, or even better than Japanese shioyaki, actually. 
Sweetfish battle, how sweet will it be for the chef who catches the verdict? ネットに Today, a young and rising Japanese chef given an opportunity to work with the freshwater fish from the country's rivers. Challenger Omino, an ambitious program for a fish that tells one's fortune, as it's written in Chinese characters. Iron Chef Sakai making the most of a bad hand. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef! Do you believe it? Sakai! An upstream swim if there ever was. The challenger momentarily stunned. The Iron Chef dealt a tough hand but carrying on and coming out on top over Omino who showed a caliber rarely seen in chefs his tender age. One big sigh of relief and a stirring performance today. Sweetfish in the end bringing good fortune and the win to Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai.